In a small ceremony inside his office, Governor Schwarzenegger signed the most overdue budget in state history. <laughs> Critics on both sides of the aisle say there are not many winners in this budget, but there are some, and the governor's one of them. He won the authority to make mid-year spending cuts, and he got the $1.7 billion rainy day fund he fought for. There were a few other winners. Tech companies got a provision that shields them against a series of lawsuits claiming unpaid overtime, and workers dodged a proposal that would have increased their tax withholding by 10 percent. Of course, without new taxes, lawmakers had to balance the budget with some fancy math that mainly affects rich people and corporations. If you're wealthy or self-employed and pay taxes every quarter, now you'll have to pay more of your taxes in the first half of the year. If you're a big company and you underpay your taxes by a million dollars or more, the penalty is now doubled. But big business isn't the hardest hit by this budget. A whole slew of groups are already upset about cuts to their funding, and we'll call them the losers. For First, state parks lost out on a $10 fee that would have been paid with every vehicle registration. Republicans called it a tax and wouldn't stand for it. The state's poorest residents will endure an $88 million cut to state welfare and won't see any cost of living increase on their benefits checks. Drug abuse programs will also see cuts, including $8 million stripped from a program to stop meth addiction. And California's elderly will really lose out. In addition to denying cost of living increases to those on state aid, the budget slashes $91 million in tax credits from elderly renters and homeowners, and also slashes $11 million away from adult protective services. But lawmakers in both parties agree the biggest loser is next year's budget, as analysts predict yet another record shortfall and very little to stop this from happening again. Jonathan Bloom, Cron 4 News.